Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to give the ultimate packing guide for traveling with just a carry-on, and more specifically, with just a backpack. You might ask, what are your qualifications? Who are you? Why should we listen to you? And to be honest, I'm just a dude and I like to travel. I've been able to do it quite a bit, both through work and also pleasure. I've been able to travel to over 30 countries in North America, Central America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and I've done the majority of it with just a single backpack. And some of these trips, they're oftentimes more than a week. And people always ask me, family, friends, even other passengers, they'll say, how in the world do you travel with just a backpack for such long trips? And I'm going to break down exactly how I do it, what I pack. But first, let's take a look at the bag. I use the Borealis backpack by the North Face, and I've had this for over 10 years. So the bag that I have actually looks a little bit different than this picture, but it's essentially the same thing. I've copy and pasted the dimensions from Amazon. You can see here that it's unisex. Uh, it weighs 2.6 pounds, which is 1.17 kilograms. It has a total capacity of 28 liters. And the reviews are pretty good. It's 4.7 out of five stars with over 2000 total reviews. If you want to see links to this bag and everything else that I'm going to list in this video, there's a link down in the description. It's called the ultimate gear list. This is a read only Google doc that has all of the gear that I'm going to be covering from travel gear, tech gear, clothing, security, finance. I have it all listed out with links and the approximate price, as well as a short description as to why I use this product. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so here we are, the North Face backpack, Borealis. And I've had this bad boy for over 10 years. It's held up really well. It's got good pouches on the side for water bottles, straps. I put carabiners on it. Carabiners are always helpful for various things. It has this stretchy cord in the front. It's good to strap things like jackets onto. It's got a main pouch with a laptop sleeve that you can put your laptop into. And it goes down pretty deep. It has a second pouch with Velcro, and within there you can fit a bunch of stuff. It has this zipper pouch, which is nice because it has a clip that I like to put my car keys. I'll put it in there, I'll zip it up, and they're nice and safe. It has all these little pouches and pockets that you can put stuff into. It goes down deep all the way to the bottom. And then a little pouch in the front for things that you need to grab uh, quickly and have them be easily accessible. Things that I put into that pouch are like sunglasses, AirPods, chapstick, eye drops, a pen. That's helpful if you need to fill out stuff like custom forms on the plane, and then a little comb to stay looking fresh. Within the middle pocket, I'll put all of this stuff. So I'll have things like a portable rechargeable battery. This is made by Anchor. It's great. It saved me when on the road when I don't have access to power. Um, here is the charging cable for my iPhone. It's really durable. I forget what it's called, but I'll put the link in the description. It's worked really well. It pairs well with the universal travel adapter that has USB and works just about everywhere in the world. Um, for all of my important stuff, like passport, my credit cards, priority pass, global entry, stuff like that, I'll put it into this black pouch along with some extra cash. And this is actually a Faraday pouch. It's really slick. You can put stuff in there and it'll block like um, skimmers if people are trying to like get your information. It blocks everything, it's really great. Um, it's always good to have a spoon um, if you need to eat on the road. This is just disposable. If I needed to throw it away, no problem. Always have string or cord. Paracord is great. I use old shoelaces, and I actually used an old shoelace to fix my water bottle cord. It broke. And so I used an old shoelace that I had in my bag. I put it on a carabiner, and then I can uh, put this onto my bag. And yeah, it worked out pretty well. These are just miscellaneous items that I usually put at the bottom, like gloves, these are ear pops you put over your ears, a bag full of bags, always helpful, Kleenex and tissues and things like that, as well as a 
first aid kit. Thankfully, I have not had to use that, but I have used this little sewing kit that I put in there. And I use that to fix a hole in my pants. I'll get to those in just a second. But first, let's look at these packing cubes. So I have a week's worth of socks and underwear and I shoved them in here and you can zip it up and it gets pretty small. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff, including a, a bigger one. I put in seven shirts as well as some athletic shorts and swimming trunks at the bottom. You zip it up, keep everything nice and organized. It doesn't get too wrinkly, but uh, yeah, next. These shorts are awesome. These are made by Prana and they're like the ultimate shorts and the pants, the ultimate Prana pants. You can see here on the road, I used that little sewing kit because I had a hole when I went hiking and I was sliding on some rocks. I was able to fix that up, but these are great. They're uh, quick dry. They look really great. So <clears throat> I use them at work for business casual, but also just out doing anything. Like I have a buddy, funny story, yesterday, literally, he was at the gym and he was wearing prana pants just like these and he was doing squats, he was rowing and it worked just fine. They're super versatile. So highly recommend those shorts, highly recommend those pants. I have a little bag for laundry and you can do laundry on the road. Um, that's one of the tricks that I use. I don't pack a whole lot of clothes, say I'm gone for longer than a week, but I only have a week's worth of clothes. Just put it in a laundry bag and do some laundry. You can do it at hotels. They might have a service. Um, so yeah, it's, that's one of my secrets on how to pack light is do laundry on the road if you need to. Next, let's look at the toiletries. I just have like your classic small toothbrush and toothpaste and, um, eye stuff and, a reusable bottle to refill with shampoo at the hotels, deodorant. Um, this is just a little uh, organizer. And I want to highlight this. These little things that you put contacts into are super helpful. You can put stuff like lotion. I actually put hair gel into that one. So I don't have to carry this big old thing of hair gel. I can just put a little bit into the uh, contact container and uh, keep looking fresh on the road. Speaking of looking fresh, here's a little razor um, that has all these different attachments um, for your nose, for your eyebrow hairs. So in case you don't want to have any stragglers and a uh, shaver and a razor that I've actually cut in half uh, to save my room and I can replace the head. I cut my toothbrush in half and I put it in here, saves room. Uh, glasses and I fit all that into this little bag over here and that's basically it that was a quick crash course but all that just fits really nicely into this backpack and anyways I hope that this has been helpful for you this is how I travel and let me know down in the comments if you found any of this helpful so there you go that was the packing list and again, here is the ultimate gear list. It's down in the description with all the links. I did want to highlight a few things that I overlooked um, in that video. I noticed I didn't mention a couple of things. One of them was this minimalistic wallet. Uh, that's really great. But I wanted to specifically highlight some security things that I forgot. The first one is the flip belt. If you've never seen this before, it's kind of like a runner's belt, but basically you can hide stuff like your IDs, your keys, money, your phone. Um, I put my passport in there. It's so sleek and so sneaky that I couldn't even find it. It was in my bag and didn't see it. Um, but I wear that when I'm traveling or when I'm out running or working out. It works really well. The other thing that I overlooked is the security cable. So you can take the security cable and the security lock. It's TSA approved. And you can strap your bag to a bench. And speaking of the bag, here it is. It's on sale currently, 38% off. Are you kidding me? But yeah, the, uh, the ultimate gear list is down in the description. Thanks so much for watching.